gusto kong ipakilala sa inyo upang sa atin ay magbigay ng kanyang buhay bati. Palakpan po natin ang parang direktor ng Santa Ana Hospital, Dr. Grace Padilla. Mayor Francisco Isco Moreno de Magoso, to our Honorable Vice Mayor Maria Sheila Hani Lapula Pangan, to our Honorable uh, Congressman Bill Servo, to our meeting uh, City Engineer, City Engineer Armand Andres, to the head of our Ancillary Service, Dr. Victorina Pagayo, uh, to the head of our Physical Therapy and Rehabilitation Medicine, Dr. Sally Aguilera, Father Hans Madu Madurulang, Paris Priest of Mandalulong, to all our guests, our Santa Ana Hospital employees, pleasant good morning to all. We are gathered here today to witness another milestone of the city of Manila, Santa Ana Hospital, as we embark on the newest technology innovations. Yes, technology innovations are very up in this day, in age as the world continue to face the never-ending COVID-19 pandemic. In the middle of this Omicron surge, the Santa Ana Hospital are about to launch our newest service on robotics program, expressing to our patients that nobody will be left behind. Hybrid Assisted Bleed, or the HAL, is a robotic exoskeleton device that can help people who have various neurological issues, including those patients who have stroke, or cerebrovascular accidents, patients with spinal cord injury, traumatic brain injury, and other issues of the brain and neuromuscular system that causes weakness or paralysis of both the upper and the lower extremities. These technology innovations such as physical therapy rehab robotics program are most welcome at Santa Ana Hospital as we are committed and continue to improve our health service delivery. In the near future, we see health service programs such as hospital introducing more digital innovations, incorporating technology into our services, this is the future world we are to embark on and we have to move along with its pace and standard. Once again, Santa Ana Hospital commits itself to opening its doors to digital technology to level up our healthcare service delivery. We thank you, the City of Manila, our beloved Mayor Isco Moreno de Bangono, together with the Vice Mayor Hani Lapuna, for they envision this for the benefit of our senior citizen and the stroke patient. We thank you for your trust and confidence to have such innovation introduced in our hospital. We also would like to thank Robocare Solution for entrusting their babies to us. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Welcome po ulit kayo sa Santa Ana Hospital, Manila, God first. <laughs> Maraming salamat po, Director Grace Padilla. Sa punto pong ito ay nais nice ibigay sa inyo upang sa atin ay magbigay ng isang maiklik mensahe at upang ipakilala ang ating pamunahing tagapagsalita Bigyan po natin ng isang masigabong palakpakan ang butihing ina ng lungsod ng Maynila, Vice Mayor Maria Sheila Hagi na po na Sa lahat po ng mga kasama natin dito ngayon sa Santa Ana Hospital, sa pangunod 
ang muna na ating kumulong John Francisco Escobarero Sumaguaso, Congressman Jose Bonieto, kay Dr. Grace Padilla at OIC, Hospital Director, at sa lahat ng mga kapwa na ating pawani ng pangalang Lusol ng Maynila sa inyong pong lahat sa magandang umaga. Isugan, ang ating pasisinayan ngayong umaga dito sa Santa Ana Hospital. At ito ay upang matulungan ang mga kababayan nating manilenyo na nangangailangan ng tulong ng physical therapy and rehabilitation upang maibalik ang lakas na nanghihinang bahagi ng kanilang mga katawayan. Makabawas sa paginirot, muling pagganahin ang kakayahang muling pakagalaw at iba pa ang mga beneficyong hatid nitong ating pinaguriang physical therapy and rehabilitation medicine and robotic center. Patunay lamang ito na walang humpay nating pagsisikap na mapabuti at mapalakas ang kakayahan ng ating mga pampublikong pagamutan dito sa Maynila. Siguro naman, sa sandaling panahon ay napatunayan ng nating mga manilenyo kung gaano kabilis umaksyon at tumugon ang ating pamalang lungsod dahil na rin sa masigasig at mapagmalasakot na servisyo ng ating mga lingkod bayan. Kaya binabati natin ang Santa Ana Hospital sa pagbubukas nitong kanilang Physical Therapy, Rehabilitation Medicine, and Robotic Center. At magandang pagkakataon din ito upang muli natin mapakinggan ang mahalagang mensahe ng kaong di naubusan ng oras upang mag-isip, mangarap, at magatid ng mga konkretong proyekto tunay na makakatulong sa bawat batang may nila. Sabi nga, Pinapanggit pa lamang ng iba, ginagawa na niya. Tunay na inspirasyon sa ating mga serbisyo publiko ang kaibang siglang pinamamalas niya. Halos literal na walang tulugan upang personal niyang tinututukan at sinusubaybayan ang implementasyon ng gawain ba. Buong pagkalaki ko ang pakilala sa inyo at pinagpapatiganan natin ang ama na lungsod ng Maynila pag-alang-gala ang mayor Francisco Escobar. Maraming salamat sa ating uh, minamahal na Vice Mayor, ang ina na lungsod ng Maynila, Vice Mayor Honey Laguna Panan. Sa ating uh, magaling, masipag, masarap kasama kasi pagkasama mo ito sa lahat ng problema, lagi siya nakangiti. Hindi siya nabubusan ng iti. Ang maliwalas na naglilingkod sa 30th District na Congressman, Congressman Yul Serbo, karapagang po natin. Sa ating uh, Director, Director Grace Padilla, uh, welcome back. <laughs> si Dr. Asiskol, Diyan yan. Si, sana gumaling na uli. Mother Hans, uh, pagdasal mo yung aking uh, minamahal na infectious doctor. You know, the story of this, uh, Father uh, Dr. Grace Padilla and uh, Dr. Scott was called by yours truly and Vice Mayor Hanil Lapuna and Dr. Fox Pangan The moment I arrived from London, okay. maswerte po kasi ako, noong 2019, nung pumuputok na yung move, so Wuhan issue about COVID-19, uh, uh, marami salamat sa British government. Uh, I was invited in London to speak with uh, the chief of COBRA, or the Corona British Response Agency at the time. So that was uh, February of 2020. Tapos pinatawag ko agad sila. Tapos eh, si Dr. Asisko, uh, small but terrible yun. No? Malakas ang loob. No? Sabi ko, ito yung plano ng British government. And I will adopt this. What you call Code M. Yun ang plano ng Maynila. Code M. Contain delay and mitigate. Contain the infection, delay the growth, 
and mitigate the socio-economic impact to the people of coronavirus. Kaya mo pa si nyo, father, immediately the first in the country public hospital created an infectious disease control center dedicated only for COVID-19. Hindi dito po yun uh, sa Santa Ana Hospital. No? Uh, through the effort of uh, Dr. Grace Padilla and Dr. Sescon and all the doctors and nurses uh, with all the invitation, marami sa kanila na infect them pa. Kasi talagang high infectious yung area niyo. It's a ang natawag nyo doon, red zone o oh, red zone marami kinamahan dito sa hospital this hospital paid the price Santa Ana Hospital really paid the price of what you call public service but then again at the same time on the other side of the coin this became the center of excellence in their respective field of undertaking kaya nung tinamahan ako Uh, I would like to thank those people who offered me, you know, uh, maybe the best facility that they can offer me in fairness to the private sector. But I opted to uh, stay in Santa Ana Hospital because of the experience learned by our doctors and nurses and other medical uh, frontliners. Kaya, ayun, atali ko naman, awa ng Diyos, Father. Kaya, if there is an opportunity, please include in your prayers uh, yung aming mga medical frontliners. To our partner, Natasha Rodriguez, President CEO of ProvoCare, at sa ating pang mga doktor na nandito, ngayon po ay uh, papasinayan na uh, uh, tagdag uh, pasididad para sa taong bayan. We always wanted the best. Sometimes it's being compared to uh, first class services that the private sector can offer. If and if the private sectors, kung kaya nila magbigay ng first class service, mas may kakayanan ang gobyerno. Dahil ang gobyerno may sanapi, pera ng taong bayan. So it has to be returned through services at Father, ayaw ko lang yung may mga services. O may mga sabi lang, o may mga papituran lang, may mga gawa na, you know, I, I really don't like it. So when you create things, you always wanted to achieve things yung, yung above average. <clears throat> above average. Because the people deserve better things from their government especially nowadays. So today is a testament, as you can see here, ito Padero, Hemodialysis Unit. Alam mo, pag pinasok nyo yan, sa mga bisita namin dito, pag pinasok nyo yan, modesty aside, ipagtatangos namin ng ilong yan. Uh, sabi nga nung aking, ano eh, yung nepro ba yun, yung tarong doon? Head ng mga, hindi mo, o, sabi niya, yung mga gamit daw dyan para Mercedes-Benz. That's what he described it. It's a fully air-conditioned, new, additional hemodialysis center. So now we're opening what we did in Hospital Lang Maynila. An access for the people. Better healthcare, utilizing technology. Ang maganda nito, mga kababayan, hindi ko po ito inisip, kinopia na lang natin ito. So kinopia natin ito, at hindi ako magsasawang mga opia, We always copy, duplicate, and innovate. Lagi tayo maghahanap ng uh, tunay na solusyon at mabilis na aksyon para sa ating mga kapatid. So, with the help of technology, especially AI or, in this case, robot, mas madaling makaka-recover yung mga kababayan natin. So, the rich, the middle class, and the poor can have an access to the first class services all at the same time. Katulad ng nagaganap na bakunahan sa busod ng Maynila. Mahirap, with the trust, 
Katulad ng itinatag. Malapit na. Maraming salamat uh, kay Architect Balmores, Engineer Andres, and all other people who are involved in putting up a 10-story fully air-conditioned public hospital called Bago Hospital ng Maynila. At ito ay dadatnan ng mga makabagong teknolohiya ng mga equipo katulad ng mga binibili natin sa kanya-kanya nating hospital nowadays sa ating anim na hospital. And uh, yung ating namang Manila COVID-19 field hospital na patuloy na pinakikinabangan ng lahat. Sabi nga po nung isang banyaga, tuwan-tuwa siya. Sabi niya eh, if I may borrow this word, I have never seen such facility with so much redundancy. So, it's a bit of one, one thing will fail and another thing will come up. I mean, yun yun ang gusto ko lagi sa tao. Bilang mahirap, at galing sa hirap, yung pang ayaw kong patuloy ng laway ng tao, na bakit sila, dahil sila yung ikakayanan, nagagawa at nagbibigay sa kanila yung ganitong service. Bakit kami mga wala, o katamtaman lang, hindi namin makamit yung parehong service. And nowadays, modesty aside, you always try to compete with the first class services being offered by the private sectors. So if the private sectors can do it, the public sector, government can do it better. We can do it better because we have resources and we will access resources. Pipilitin namin ni Vice Mayor Hany Lacuna na maging mainaw, masino, at episyente kayong patuloy. With a 308 square meter of this facility that you're going to bless Father, we offer this type of services to our people. Additional facility, better health care, para sa lahat. Para sa lahat. May awan Diyos, and in advance, I would like to thank all the people who will be in this uh, facility who will serve our constituency. Para po sa kaalaman ng ating mga kababayan, dito po sa high, hybrid assisted limb, robotic exoskeleton. Sorry ha. Mga medical term. Pero kabisado ko na ito si Lisa sa Kabul Nupi Rabir. Uh, Nababangit ko na siya ng mga uh, tama. So, meron ka na surgery grades eh. Meron kang infectious disease control center. Meron kang dialysis center. Manila COVID-19 vaccine storage center. So, ngayon, meron ka na naman ito. Tapos marami pang mga makina, marami respiratory products for equipment here. So ito naman, can aid and rehabilitate various neurological issues like stroke, CVA, spinal cord injury, traumatic brain injury. Traumatic brain? Talaga? Okay po. Ito na ang book. Accidente. Accidente. Another issues of brain. <laughs> Pagay sa aming mga politiko ko po. Baka dito na magpunta lahat ang manilig ko. Sipat na, tatawa na lang. Neuromuscular system that causes weakness and paralysis. And upper and lower extremities. Uh, meron tayong three types. Na nandito, lower limb type, single joint type, and lumbar type. Mamiya, foam. Subukan natin yung robot. Ang galing. Promise. Alam mo, nung pinakita sa akin yung mga nangasya, si Lotro, alam mo talaga. Kaya, ito ang nangyayari sa Estados Unidos. Sa mga matatayog na bansa. Mayayang ang bansa. So, katulad ng Paris City Need, Tosili Sumag, MDC Beer, Monopira Beer, na meron yung mga matatayog na bansa, meron sa Maynila. The same thing with this. 
So, kung ano ang lumabas sa mundo, o binawa ng Diyos, nakakaya lang tayo, pukuli natin, kaalay natin sa taong bayan. Because you always deserve better things from your government. We will always do the best. We will try in our own little way to deliver first class services. Whether it is equipment, technology, services, and that includes our time. Walang program. Sa bakunahan. Para sa protection. But we will be there. We will always be there. Tani and I. At sampu ng aking mga kawaning ng pamalang ng Sur ng Manila. Magiging kaagapay, magiging gabay, na kami sa laban na ito. Walang may iiwan. Walang iiwan. Yaya kapit. Itatawid natin ang taong bayan. Congratulations to the team. And thank you very much for the private sector. And Father, thank you for your coming here today. And bless the facility. At sa inyo lahat, mag-ingat kayo. Pat, mag-preserve ka na. Brain problem, yun. <laughs> Magandang araw, pagpalain na ba kayo ng buong magapal. God first! Maraming salamat po, Mayor, sa inyong uh, maliwa at nakabulugang mensahe. Tayo po ngayon ay dadako na sa pinakatatangkot na bahagi ng ating programa. Ang pagpuputol ng laso, kaya tinaanyayahan po si na Mayor Isko Moreno, Vice Mayor Nani Laguna, Dr. Grace Padilla, Congressman Yuri Sarbo at iba pang opisyales ng lungsod upang pangunahan ang pagkuputol ng laso na susundan ang pagbabasbas muli ni Father Hans Magdolo. Yeah! Team at 17!